Hi, my name is Caitlin Curry and I do research on biodiversity of the African lion. The African lion is one of the most recognizable species on the planet. It is used worldwide to represent bravery, strength, and power. Although this animal may symbolize authority, the lion has been pushed out of its historic home range as a result of human encroachment into lion habitat, habitat destruction, and land conversion. The human population in Africa nearly quadrupled over the last 50 years and is expected to again double by 2050. And it appears that lion numbers shrink as human numbers grow. But this is primarily speculation based on imprecise comparisons to historic records, so the actual impact to the lion population is unknown. Scientific estimates of lion population sizes range as low as 16,000 to as high as 200,000 individuals, estimated using very different methods during different time periods. Many conservation decisions are based on population declines, but population declines are based off these guesstimates, being compared to a historic number that comes from an article from the 1970s. Despite how often it's used, there have been no attempts to validate the number's accuracy. Using genetics and lines preserved in museums, now we can. Our goal with this project is to make a direct comparison between lion populations from 100 years ago with populations of today using population genetics to get an idea of how the growing human population is affecting the lion population. Historic populations will come from lions preserved in museums collected by turn-of-the-century explorers. We will extract DNA from bones, teeth, or hide of lions that have been in museums for the last century. We have already gotten samples from the Los Angeles Museum of Natural History and the American Museum of Natural History in New York. Our hope is to visit more museums with the largest collections of lions from across Africa, such as the Field Museum in Chicago and the National Museum of Kenya. Data from present-day lions will come from recently published studies and DNA from hide, hair, bones, or tissue of lions collected from various sources over the last decade. With this genetic information, we can create a baseline for genetic health by making a direct comparison between populations from two time periods and assess how genetic health has been affected, if they have lost, gained, or maintained diversity. We also will be able to estimate the number of breeding individuals, called the effective population size, and compare how many there were 100 years ago to how many there are today, using the same technique, allowing a more direct comparison over time than has ever been previously employed. This study aims to improve upon decades of inconsistent information that has inevitably been compromising conservation decisions. The knowledge we will gain from this study will aid policymakers by providing a reliable estimation of population size based on the genetic health of the overall population. Hey, 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 how do people do this for a living? <laughs> <laughs> That's how they get paid the big bucks.